Hi, this is Mr. Max. So I'm going to show you a trick how to solve simultaneous equations without doing or using the other methods that you were exposed to, like for example, the method of elimination or substitution or making the coefficients the same or any other method that you uh, might know. So what we have here is we have two equations, 3x minus 2y is equal to 8. 4x plus 3y is equal to 5. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say let x equal to. And then I'm going to multiply this negative 2 over here. I'm going to multiply it with 5. Okay, that gives us negative 10. And then I'm going to subtract that. Okay, there's always going to be the subtraction. After I multiply, um, so let's just play around with the colors. This 8 here, I'm going to multiply it with this 3 here. And when you multiply that, you get 24. Okay, so that takes care of the numerator problem. Now we're going to come to the denominator. And when I get to the denominator, I'm going to take this negative 2 that I have over here, I'm going to multiply it with 4. And when you multiply negative 2 with 4, you get negative 8 as an answer. Okay? And I'm going to subtract that. And the next thing now that I'm left to do is I am going to multiply this 3 here with this 3 here. So it's like a cross multiplication again. Okay, so 3 times 3, that is nothing but 9. So that is where I am. All right, so just to maybe show you. So that multiplies with that and that 3 times that 3. All right, so this is going to give us x is equal to nothing but. So you on top have minus 34 and under you have minus 17. Okay, so, and then the final answer should therefore be x is equal to 2. And once you have one answer for x, then you can find your other answer for y, like all the other methods that you are used to. That means if you were to go and say 3, and then you are going to obviously um, substitute whatever you have for the value of x. So our x here is 2, and that gives you a 6. Take away 2y equals to 8, and then you have minus 2y equals to 8. And now obviously what you need to do is you need to subtract 6 from that side. Okay, and uh, you are nearly done now. So now you can go ahead and say negative 2y and 8 take away 6, that's nothing but negative 2. So what you're now left with, you just say y equals to 2 divided by 2, or negative 2 divided by negative 2, if you like that, and then y is equal to 1. So that is the second answer. So therefore, x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 1. And this is how you solve that using a quick trick. At the same time, let me just show you how you can also use a calculator if you have a calculator of this following range, how you can solve simultaneous equations. So you hit your mode, and once you do that, you are going to go to choose 5 here. That stands for, that stands for equations. And you want to choose the first one, which is the order in which uh, simultaneous equations are, of ax plus by equals to c, where c and b and a are numbers. So choose, I'm going to choose that one there. So you see, you immediately have two equations line up. So now you have to choose the value of a. So in the first equation, the value of a would be 3. So you say 3, and then you say equal to, and then it immediately jumps to the value of b. In this case, the value of b should be negative 2. So then you say minus 2, and then you hit equal to, and now it goes to the constant, which here is equal to 8. You say equal to. So now you're done with the equation on top. And if you make a mistake, you can always go back and you can then correct them. So the second equation, the value of a is 4. So you say 4 equal to, and then the value of b is 3, 3 equal to, and then the value 
of C is 5, you say 5 equal to. Now, you are going to press equal to. That gives you the first answer for x, which we have seen that x is equal to 2, as you can see over here. And the next one that you can do, you press equal to again, and then it gives us y equals to negative 1. In fact, I should be going back to see that in my problem, I have probably made a mistake somewhere. And that mistake is here, because if you say 8 minus uh, 6, that gives you a positive number and a positive number here. And then the final answer here will be negative 1. So I might have just also done that to see if you could spot the error. But in a nutshell, you can do quite a number of simultaneous equations and you can use whatever method you prefer. But of course, if you want to go and use a short method, then you know what the trick is.